Emilio's tooltips. Let's read them. Alright, when Emilio's ability to touch ally champions, the next attack ability to deals 15%, 15 to 50% ally attack damage. Whoa. That is crazy. That is a bit much. The scaling of this is nuts. It's total AD, not bonus. Jin is about to burn you alive, dude. Jesus. This. Well. That's crazy. My brothers. That's crazy. Mana flow ban celerity. Let's go, guys. This is crazy. Uh, another additional layer to this is think of like all th this already heavily implies that the champion is going to have a lot less synergy with AP champions, right? Because this AP scaling is going to be of Melio's AP scaling. So this is ally attack damage. So it's like this champion is only going to synergize with AD champions from the get go, right? So Jenna is an absolute monster when you think of this. Medio, medio keeps a fireball knocking back the first enemy hit. If it hits, power bounces past them and explodes, dealing 99% of my time, surrounding enemies and slowing them. Um, I think uh, the, the main thing here is 12 second cooldown flat. Uh, the base damage goes up a lot per point. So this is definitely going to be like a lane ability. Uh, I have to see the E before I make like uh, deep judgments on this. But at least that's where my mind goes. So basically, this... I, I can see a world where you put a couple of points in Q for lane, and like 3 points, Q, level 5, and then you max W, something like this. Of course you can't fire, now this was the interesting one, range, cooldown 29, so it's, it's exactly as I guessed, right, the Seraphine cooldown range, because this is going to be a very powerful ability, uh, creates a heart, there's 6 seconds is the duration, that is pretty large, uh, basically you can... Uh, you can probably like in in deeper late games you can probably keep a f above like less than 50 percent uptime right like you, you can get to a 50 percent uptime of this for sure with some ability haste right uh because the cooldowns are going to start kick kicking in when you press this this is definitely going to be the ability to max uh like you, you should transition into maxing this ability after putting some points in either Q and let's see. Meteor wraps and Hannah Champion Protective Flames granting and 50% move speed for 2.5 seconds. So the move speed is kind of nice. Ammo re recharge. Um, the shield duration is kind of low. Um, but yeah, I would say probably it's like what, what's cool about this right is that when you put points in this you get 30 shield and it's two stacks so in theory in theory you get 60 per 60 shield right per point so that's a pretty big skill up uh, gain i think considering q doesn't go down in cooldown i think q will be like a lane ability kind of uh button and then w you transition into maxing w at the moment you uh start to you know, you want to make sure that, like, if you're around level 9, uh, level 10, you get uh, this ability max. I think that's going to be, like, the best way to play this jump, for sure. That's my, like, general impression. Uh, Breath of Life. Mira unleashes a wave of soothing flames on nearby ally champions, cleansing, disabling, and immobilizing effects. So this confirms that it removes uh, suppressions. Uh, restoring 150 health and granting 65% tenacity for 3 seconds. That is pretty crazy. This extra tenacity part means that there is no, like... Um, th this part is really, really big. Because probably this is going to work well together with Mercs. It's not going to be put in the same bracket as the other sources of tenacity. Similar to like Orn and, and, and Garen. Uh, this is going to give you... Because keep in mind, a lot of the champions that CC, they do it in combinations. Think about Lissandra as an example. She does WR, right? 
Ji Mumu Q R Nar does R into W. There's 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 usually layers of CC that they apply, right? And um, that portion of it uh, makes this a lot stronger for sure. A uh, big thing though is the cooldown, right? Uh, the cooldown does match a lot of the big ultimates, right? Um, I think the tenacity probably isn't necessary. I think it would give it a lot more skill expression, but this definitely makes it uh, easier to use, right? Because there's going to be cases where you cleanse and then the tenacity doesn't matter against some champions, but it definitely makes it stronger, right? All in all, my first impression is like I would go into a game, I'll try putting some points in queue to see what's up. Um, maybe uh, like like this this numbers these numbers to me look crazy. This looks really really crazy. So this this looks really nuts. Wow, now, this is gonna be a massive scaler, honestly. Uh, the the key thing here is that it doesn't show cooldown. Like this doesn't show cooldown. Like I, I can, like I can make some crazy combos with this. Okay, so keep in mind, it's like my W, my W applies the passive, right? Applies the passive insanely often. I believe it's three times it applies. And then we're going to have warm hugs. This is going to also apply the passive. And then Q, I can apply the passive with Q. And then there's going to be situations where I can apply the passive with uh, my R, right? And this can add up really fucking quickly because an additional layer to this, right, is that let's say you play an AD heavy comp, picking this champion in your composition is going to convert your AD damage into magic damage. And that portion of it is super scary, in my opinion. So just once again, you can play an AD heavy comp and then you're going to be able to apply magic damage. And um, you're not going to be able to machine gun this, right? You're not going to be able to machine gun this because the burn damage doesn't stack, right? Because a lot of people have been talking to me about Lucian as an example, but like, I'm thinking Caitlyn still. Like Caitlyn, buy big AD and punch, you know? Like this, this, this is basically a mini GP passive. This, it's what it is, right? But magic damage, right? I think also from the wording of this means that uh, this is not going to apply any effects from. This is going to work with mandates or things like this, right? Uh, this is going to be the damage. Like this is going to be like Lulu picks uh, damage. Uh, no, it's on max level, so it's fifteen to fifty percent on max level of the scaling. It's 50% ally attack damage as additional magic damage plus AP scaling, right? And the level of Milio uh, over 1.5 seconds. So it's not like, yeah. Triss Bomb is gonna rip someone's head off? Not really. It's better to have like uh, more constant damage abilities. For example, like this sounds really good with Ezreal. But Ezreal just sounds insane. Because of the spacing of your hits, you know? But I think Caitlyn, Caitlyn, Aphelios, those Jinx, those champs stand out to me as really, really good ones. I think the Senna lane would be too weak. I think Senna Milio, from what it sounds like, is going to be too weak. 